Sir Keir Starmer is the latest person to express concerns about the, the Scottish Parliament's gender legislation. Um, Stephen Flynn this morning describing it as an outrage if, if that is blocked. Is it really an outrage if, if people use the established mechanism to try to resolve potential conflict in the law set out in the Scotland Act 1998? Um, yes, I think it would be um, an outrage. Um, you refer to established procedures, of course, in respect of uh, Section 35 of the Scotland Act, a procedure that has not been used in almost a quarter of a century of the, uh, the existence of the Scottish Parliament. Um, in my view... Uh, there are no grounds to challenge this legislation. It is within the competence of the Scottish Parliament. It doesn't affect the operation of the Equality Act. And it was passed by an overwhelming majority of the Scottish Parliament after very lengthy and very intense scrutiny by MSPs of all parties represented in the Parliament. So if there is a decision to challenge, then in my view, it will be uh, quite simply a political decision. And I think it will be uh, using trans people, already one of the most vulnerable, stigmatised groups in our society, as a political weapon. And I think that will be unconscionable um, and indefensible and really uh, quite disgraceful. There is a bigger issue of principle here, and I'll come on to Keir Starmer's comments in this context. Uh, and that issue of principle is the right of the Scottish Parliament to legislate within its areas of competence. And if we see a challenge this week, then we will be... Uh, seeing yet more evidence from this UK government uh, of complete contempt for the Scottish Parliament and for devolution in principle. And I would say to anyone um, who might welcome that because they disagree with this particular piece of legislation, if the UK government is able to normalise action to block legislation democratically passed by the Scottish Parliament within our areas of competence on this issue, then that will embolden them to look to do it on other issues. And we will be on a very, very slippery slope indeed. So I think it is that serious. And I think the import and significance of this would go beyond the particular subject matter of the legislation. Finally, on this issue on Keir Starmer, you know, I start to wonder, and I'm, I suspect I'm not the only one who starts to wonder if there is anything Keir Starmer is willing to stand up and be counted on in the face of Tory attacks. I don't think the UK needs a pay limitation of this Tory government. It needs an alternative to this Tory government. Uh, but on this particular issue, uh, of course, this is legislation that was scrutinised and voted for by Keir Starmer's own party in the Scottish Parliament. So he'd be showing, uh, if he backed uh, any move by the government to block this, he'd be showing utter contempt uh, for his own uh, Scottish party as well as the Scottish Parliament. So we'll see what happens this week, but there is no justification whatsoever uh, for the action that is being talked about.